Hi guys, I hope you're doing really, really well and I hope you're practicing radical self-care. I hope that you are getting exercise. I hope you're surrounding yourself with good people, kind people, safe people, people that um, want what's best for you and that are honest and that have integrity and that are authentic. I hope that you're doing that and then also getting some trauma therapy. Um, so in this video, what I'm going to talk about is um, why the narcissist blames you for everything and um, how they, they get a how they are able to do that. Um, so first, you know, it's important to understand that these people are um, exceptional manipulators, right? And part of their manipulation is that they, or it manifests in that they absolutely cannot take personal or will not take personal responsibility for the harms they cause, for the people they hurt, for the, um, you know, things they do that are, you know, mean and awful to other people. So they do not, they will not take personal responsibility. They, they need to feel or think that they are the good guy, right? So how they do this often, I mean, if you've been in a relationship with one of these people, it's so crazy because so many of the victims that are in these relationships um, end up actually believing that things are their fault. They believe it's their fault that the narcissist cheated on them. They believe it's their fault that the narcissist lied to them and gaslit them. It's really weird. But um, these people are so good at turning it back on you and making you think that it's your fault. Um, if somebody cheats on you, I don't care what reason they tell you that it's your fault, that you're not skinny enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not um, manly enough, you're not good at sex. Whatever reason they give you is crap. If somebody cheats on you, that is a choice that they made. They made a choice and it's 100% their responsibility. So if there's any of you here that are blaming yourself and thinking that the narcissist cheated on you because there was something wrong with you, no, they cheated on you because there's something wrong with them. If somebody is lying to you and manipulating and gaslighting and you know making you question your own reality, again, that is not on you. That person is choosing to behave in very toxic ways. Now, did they have trauma from childhood that probably led them to narcissism? Most likely. Um, I'm not saying that there isn't some stimuli that, that is a, in operation here, but you know, narcissists um, are very good at getting the victim to believe that it is their fault. That if only they would have done something different, then the, the, then the um, outcome would have been different. And here's the deal with these people, almost all narcissists are going to cheat, whether it's in micro cheating or emotional affairs or physical affairs, they almost all cheat because it's just another way for them to get additional sources of supply, right? So they're almost always going to do that. It's almost inevitable and it has nothing to do with you. And for you guys on there that didn't have, as far as you know, that the narcissist didn't cheat, they probably did, but it's hidden. Um, you know, if they, they lied to you and they manipulated you again, that is on them. That's just what they do, right? That's how they operate. So Narcissists can be very, very good at turning things around um, and def using deflection and projection and manipulation to make the, the survivor believe that it is their fault that the narcissist treated them poorly. And I'm sorry, but if somebody treats you poorly, again, those are their behaviors and you are not responsible for another person's behavior. You are responsible for your behavior, but not another person. So if somebody is, um, being manipulative or, or, um, hurtful or lying or gaslighting, again, that's not on you. And these people are, you know, amazing at getting other people at, at pushing the responsibility onto other people. You know, you know how a healthy person will react um, if they make a mistake? They will say, you know what? I'm really sorry. I made a mistake. 
I cheated on you. That was wrong of me. I need to make amends. What can I do to set the past right? That was really wrong of me. Whether they want to be in the relationship or not. Like owning it. Taking responsibility. And um, trying your best to make amends. That's what a healthy person does. They own their mistakes. They don't blame them on another person. They don't project their garbage onto other people. They take personal responsibility for their actions and for their life. Um, and it's just really important that you do that, that, you know, that we do that as human beings. That's, that's a sign of emotional intelligence and emotional maturity is the ability to take some personal responsibility for our actions, right? And these people um, are notoriously bad at it. They can't do it. They don't want to take the responsibility or to own the responsibility that they might have had something to do with causing another person pain. And I don't think it's because they really care that much about the other person being in pain. It's not because they have empathy for it. It's because they don't want to look like the bad guy. They want the friends and the family to think that they're a saint. Because remember, everything is image to them. They're all about projecting this image of like, if they're the coverts, it's this image of goodness and kindness and vulnerability and like almost like um, the little darling, you know, victim, right? That's the image that they're projecting. And if they're the overts, you know, it's all about this perfection. They're always about like projecting this image of perfection. So image is really important to these people, not authenticity, not integrity, not honesty, not the truth. They are not, these are not truth seekers. They are not people that are interested in the truth. Um, which is interesting, especially if they're scientists, because good scientists are interested in the truth, but um, poor scientists don't care about the truth. So if you're with if you're with a narcissist that was a scientist, they're probably a bad one. Um, but yeah, like you know, seeking truth, you know, seeking the truth is important to some people, and it is not important to narcissists. Um, everything for them is all about nihilism, sort of moral relativism, but. In general, you know, these are people that are going to try to put the, you know, personal, not take personal responsibility and blame you for their actions and behaviors. And they're, you are not responsible for another person's actions and behaviors. They are responsible. Again, you're responsible for yours, but not another person's, right? You're just not. And so if somebody gaslit you, manipulated you, you st stonewalling and silent treatment and was cheating on you and lying to you, you are not responsible. You did not cause that to happen. There's nothing different that you could have done to, for them not to act that way. This is a pathological personality disorder that they had way before they ever met you. It may not have been obvious, right? But they had it before you ever met them. And they were lying to their last sources of supply and cheating on their last sources of supply and manipulating all the same stuff. This is just what they do as a pattern throughout their entire lives, right? This is what they do. This is how they operate in the world, right? So, uh, you know, again, it, it was there before you ever came along. It's going to be there when you're gone. You are not responsible for another person's toxic behaviors. So I hope this is helpful for you guys, and I hope you're practicing great self-care and having a good day. Bye.